So basically, it's changing vibrations that makes different notes, isn't it? That's right, and you don't need a very complicated instrument to demonstrate that. You could even use this ruler. Well, you could. <laughs> if I, we've all twanged rulers in our day, but if I hold the ruler against the edge of the table, it makes a note. And if I lengthen it, the note is lower. Sh shorten it. Oops, don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason for that uh, is that the longer the ruler being vibrated, the slower is the vibration, and therefore the lower the note. So that makes a low note, whereas a very short length of ruler makes a high note. Right. Now, when you're learning music, Alan, do you learn it by ear, or do you actually read music? Well, we do both. I prefer to learn by ear, because once you've learned a tune by ear, it tends to stick. But quite often, we do have to get music out, and this is an example of the sort of thing we do. Um, See, there's, one, you know, there's, yeah. there's one we play, uh, Geese in the Bog. And I don't know if you're familiar with, with musical notation, but basically these little dots represent the notes. And the higher up they are, the higher the note you play. And I find it quite easy to work out in principle because it's just like a mathematical graph. The graphs have two dimensions. And here, pitch is the vertical scale. So you're moving up and down in pitch on the y-axis and along the x-axis you've got time. So really it's nothing more than a pitch time graph. Well, that's definitely a mathematician talking, I think. I guess, yeah. <laughs> the musical stave can be compared to a mathematical graph. Here's a plot of pitch against time. The notes have their own particular pitch. As I play each note, it's plotted on the pitch time graph below the musical stave. So, looked at mathematically, the stave notation used by musicians is basically a pitch time graph. You mentioned earlier something about frequencies. Can you tell me more about that? Well, to do that, what we really need is an oscilloscope. And luckily, I've got one right next door. Really? So. <laughs>